Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we'll be looking at disruptive companies in order to unlock exponential gains. I'm not a financial advisor. Everything in this channel and this video is my opinion and is for educational purposes only. If this is your first time in my channel, please look through all the videos, including this one. If it sounds like you, then consider subscribing to the channel and also hit the notification so that you are notified when I release a new video. To all the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. All the members that just joined, you guys gave me great energy. Uh, I've had a chance to talk to some of you, so I'm very, very, very happy about that. And in subsequent videos, I will be giving shout out to um, all the new members. The second one that I wanted to give a shout out to is Andres Castaneda. Uh, muchas gracias por apoyarme. Uh, thank you so much for your for your support. And we've got uh, quite a few more to cover, so I will be giving you more shout outs in subsequent videos. If you are also new to OTC Penny Stocks Trading, you can uh, consider using my links in the description box to open an account with Charles Schwab. Uh, my, my code is embedded in the link, so it's secured. Also, I use Weeble, and if you use my link, you're supporting my channel. Weeble, I use that because I can trade before market and after market. Without um, further ado, let's dig in. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on just everything that we've covered this week. The first is my membership tab, uh, which I've explained as a paying member, tier one is 99 cents. So as a paying member, you know, there are perks like viewing some of the videos before I release the videos. I will also, in the community tab, a few companies that uh, I'm thinking of doing videos or I'm trading, but not, have not had a chance to, to do recording yet. Also, we just created a Discord so that all paying members can come join chat, ask me questions. First conversation started yesterday. I had a great conversation with uh, meeting new people. Thank you so much. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for me to, uh, you know, get to know you guys on a personal level and to have more meaningful stock discussions. That's all the news for our channel. Now, let's go through the companies that we covered and why is it that they jumped this week. I think the first one is SANP. I know that it jumped 30% on Friday and people are asking, oh, why is it this is happening? And the reason is because of a tweet on the CEO's Twitter account. And this tweet came out on March 12th. It says, hey, 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 guess what, peeps? We've got green lighted by OTC. So he'll have login credentials by mid next week and it's ha hammer time. So you all know that right now SANP has a stop and it's a dark defunct company. So which means that he's gonna start cleaning all of this up in order to make it pink current. And when that happens, this th this, this company is gonna, is gonna rock it. And so that's the reason why everyone bought into it and you see a 30% uh, jump last Friday. Also, at the top of his news feed, you also see that he made a shout out to our channel and he said, and so he circulated our video. So apparently he's been watching the video that I released to you guys. And he says, big hug to Andrew for the video. And it's circulated. I think that it circulated about nine times and it was loved by 50 people. So it seems that, you know, uh, people are, people know a bit more about the channel. Another company that we covered this week was another company I'm quite excited about is Efer and uh, just so you guys know, their subsidiary that they own 100% is Arctic Solar Engineering. So I think that when they say that they're going to expand their energy sector and moving to Texas, to me, even though they kept it very ambiguous, I think it's, I think they're going to go into the solar energy and going to expand solar energy. It would be great if they go into electric also, but most likely I think that's what it is. And I think they may have that sort of announcement. That announcement is forthcoming. So I can't wait until that happens. And I think it's gonna explode when that announcement comes out. With Minerco, we all knew, and from my last video, that Sean Kingston is the company's newest, newest ambassador. But this news was recently released uh, on New York Weekly Times. So this means that it has more coverage, more people will know about mine. So with regards to TSNPD, the only news article that came out that's published in otcmarkets.com dated March 3rd, 2021, uh, basically covering what I've already covered in the previous TSNPD uh, video. With regards to TSNPD, the latest article that I found published in otcmarkets.com right now is the one 
entitled, The Latest Developments at Tesoro Humble Do Little to Dent the Bear Case, on March 3rd, 2021. And the summary is, the company announced the purchase of Chicory and the latter claims it operates the largest independent Latin concert and events website in the U.S. Number two, Tesoro Humble also completed a four for one reverse stock split and claimed it forced a lot of short positions to cover. I mean, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why the stock has been falling. The author doesn't think these developments are big enough to stop the bears from shorting it. With regards to TS and PD, um, I think this is one of the companies that go much, much further than $10, uh, just because cryptocurrency and they are uh, planting all of these platform in over 100 countries. You know, if say, let's say 10% hit, then that's a lot of revenues. I think this company, as soon as it goes to the NASDAQ, will start to see a lot more support than more, more so than it is now. Ozop Energy Solutions. And this is the reason why this company has been going wild and going crazy over the last week. And the news came out March 12, 2021. It says Ozop Energy, OZSC, has executed a 25-year lease on a property to build its first lithium-ion battery storage and power facility. This is huge news, obviously. This is a power inverter company. And the latest video that I did on them, it was a possibility of a, of a Tesla partnership. And so this has the potential to be so big if that happens. With HCMC, uh, the biggest one that's being advertised on OTC markets right now is the fact that they have a new Twitter account. I've already released a video on that. And also, also their joint motion for an extension was approved by the judge. Not very surprising to me that this is happening. Remember guys, when it comes to court procedures, legal procedure, when you're in legal proceedings, people are, wanna, are gonna be asking for extension after extension. Number one, to get all their documents together, to get all their documentations together, to get your ducks in a row. So this is gonna be a process that will drag out. So if you are investing into, into HCMC, then you have to understand legal proceedings do not, um, do not end this quickly. And it's very tedious most of the time. Um, again, this is just very quick news on all these companies. I will uh, deep dive into them later when it is warranted. And in the next couple of videos, I will be showing you guys more plays. Thank you so much for all your support so far. Like I've mentioned, I hope to have more, uh, to meet more of you guys offline. And so consider joining as a member. Thank you so much. Take care.